VMware Cloud on AWS provides a public API so you can automate infrastructure management tasks from your DevOps pipelines or other operational workflows. Authentication requires an API token instead of the familiar username and password combination. A single token can be used with a range of languages or clients. In this demo, you'll see how to generate a token and connect to VMware Cloud on AWS using PowerCLI. To get started, log into VMware Cloud Services and go to My Account. Click on the API Tokens tab. Previously generated API tokens, if they're still valid, will be shown here. To generate a new token, click the link. Each API token has a name for ease of identification. You can specify how long a token will be valid. This is known as the time to live. The default is six months, but you can make it shorter or longer according to your requirements. You can also narrow the scope to cover specific service roles or all roles. After making the required selections, click the Generate button to create a new token. Copy or download the token and store it in a secure location. You won't be able to access it after the dialog box is dismissed. An API token can be used from any REST client and must be exchanged for an access token to authenticate specific API requests. PowerCLI takes care of that exchange automatically. But keep in mind that you need to do that explicitly with other clients such as curl or Python. Once PowerCLI is connected, any of the VMware Cloud on AWS commandlets can be executed against your environment to view or modify the configuration. If you suspect an API token has been compromised, or if you no longer need it, you can easily revoke the token through the same web interface. Once the token has been revoked, it immediately becomes invalid for authentication. This has been a quick overview of how to generate, use, and revoke a VMware Cloud API token. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS technical resources.